Hey Whipper Snappers, this is Tortimer the Great. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Pokemon Showdown Little Cup Battles. Um, today we are running with the Killa's team, and Peaches is taking the lead there, throwing up the rocks, and then she's gonna throw that superpower at the Snover and one-shot him, so that works out very nicely for us. Uh, Ponyta comes in at that point. Ponyta's gonna get the Flare Blitz off, and uh, Peaches isn't surviving that. So Peaches goes down. Ponyta takes some good recoil damage from that, though, and is uh, ready for Bigwig to come in and finish it off. Uh, not that Bigwig probably could have done, couldn't have done that anyway with the Earthquake, but uh, hey, we'll take it. A Treebeard then comes in, and the Brick Break comes up. I was actually expecting the Spore, but hey, either way, immunity works for me. Uh, we throw the Burn up on the Paris, as it seems to be Physical Attacker. Uh, and then Treebeard's gonna come out, because there's really not much more he can do to it. Um, Samos comes in at that point. I'm gonna go for the U-turn here, uh, but the Stunky goes for the Explosion, and that's gonna take Samos right on out, so we're not gonna be able to do much with him this battle. Uh, and then same, uh, Spud comes in, and Spud's gonna throw the Superpower up on the Porygon, uh, get him so close to dead, and then uh, gonna take a hard Thunderbolt there, uh, and then Spud throws up another Superpower, gonna get those stat boosts again, so that works out fairly nicely. Um, and Porygon goes down. Uh, pa uh, Spud's then gonna throw the superpower up at the Paris, uh, with the resistances there, not gonna be enough to kill, uh, and the defense boosts are not gonna be enough to save Spud from the four times effective bug bite there. Um, so Spud's gonna go down at that point. Bigwig then comes in, he throws up the return, he's gonna clean up the Paris, uh, and then Mindfu comes in, I'm gonna switch into a Treebeard, expecting the... Uh, fake out, uh, but we get the Drain Punch again. Immunity works either way, so uh, Treebeard eventually goes down to the knockoff there. Crush comes and throws up the Aqua Jet. Doesn't do much there. Uh, in fact, Drain Punch is going to heal back up uh, completely. Um, then we're going to get hit with another Drain Punch, but thankfully he's full health, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, and we get the Eevee Light off him, which is good. Uh, that's going to be uh, Crush's most useful contribution to this, probably. Uh, and he goes down, and then Bigwig's going to be able to come in and, with that Choice Scarf out speed, get the return off and uh, and kill the Mindfu. So, a uh, fun little battle there uh, with the Killers team. And, uh, yeah, let's check out one more this week, shall we? Here we go. All right, guys, welcome back to battle number two. Here we go, leading off with Peaches again. As opposed to immediately throwing up the rocks, I decided for some reason I was going to just go ahead and kill the Drillbur. And so I did that. Uh, took him out with two Ice Shards, and that went out uh, just fine. Uh, Peaches then takes the fake out from the Chimchar. I heal up with the Berry Juice, thinking, all right, here we go, good. But then we get the Taunt up, um, and unfortunately the Fire Blast is going to, uh, to going to take out uh, Peaches with a crit there uh, before he can land an Earthquake. So Bigwig comes in and does it for him. Uh, for her and there and uh, and then they switch out so big we're gonna get a little bit of an earthquake off on the cacnea before he comes out Treebeard comes back in there uh, Cacnea starts setting up the sword dance uh, and throws up the sucker punches here uh, But I'm gonna be throwing up the will-o'-wisp there uh, looking to uh, do some damage to him He continues hoping to predict a, an attack and uh, and uh, keeps throwing up the sucker punch apparently he hasn't really been up against a, a phantom before I guess um but I get the sub up there, and then I'm able to get the Shadow Claw off on the Machop, uh, and then the will o Whips. so a couple of good uh, good moves there. The sub really helped out there, because uh, uh, even with the burn, a single knockoff is going to be enough to kill Treebird there. Um, Treebeard, not Treebird. Uh, Samos then comes in, takes a knockoff, uh, doesn't do a whole lot, and is able to kill the Machop. Uh, so Machop goes down there. Uh, Hone Edge at that point comes in. I just kind of suicide there, Brave Bird, hoping it'll do something. Um, Honez starts throwing up the Automize, though, and is going to be fast enough to kill Samos there. Uh, brings Spud in, though, and Spud with the, the Choice Scarf is still faster than 2 times speed Honez. So they must have not had this guy real well um, uh, invested in speed, I guess. Uh, and then we do land a crit, which kills in one hit. Uh, the Night Slash takes out the Honez. Uh, and then Corfridge comes in, finishes off Spud. Um, Crush comes in at that point. We're going to get the knockoff off, get rid of the Eevee Light on the Corefish. Uh, Corefish is going to start throwing up uh, some moves there, uh, but the Stone Edge lands and Corefish goes down, so that works out nicely. Uh, it also hit the Cacnea with the uh, Stone Edge, so getting pretty good uh, accuracy on that one, which is nice. Um, avoiding the Aqua Jet, because this thing does have Water Absorb, and we are able to kill it with a knockoff, uh, forcing Chimchar to come in. Uh, Chimchar comes in with the fake out, uh, but Crush has the Aqua Jet to deal up next turn, and Chimchar goes down. So, another fun little battle there with the Killers team. I love pulling this team out. Uh, kind of a fun little 
haphazardly thrown together team, but it seemed to stand the test of time over the, uh, oh god, uh, <laughs> almost years now, I guess. I don't, I don't know exactly when I came up with this team, but we've been doing Showdown for almost years now, so it's possible it's been around for a very, very long time, uh, and I'm glad to see it continue to to be viable as I dust it off every now and then. So, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Torn with Grain. You guys have been great. Make sure to leave those likes, comments, and subscriptions for me, guys. If you have not already checked out the Hexanthalock this week or um, or last week, I recommend you do that. That se This season is coming to an end. Uh, and on last week's episode, episode 19, um, you I opened up voting for my starter for next season uh, when we go to Kalos. So, if you have not checked that out and voted for the starter yet, go ahead and do that. Um, and yeah, the finale of the Hicks Athlock will be coming out next week, so make sure you guys keep an eye out for that. Uh, anyway, I've been Tormund Green, you guys have been great. Have a good one.